I wanted to offer you a certain way of connection to to your soul. I think that many times the world is distracting our thoughts so much that to leave our eyes open might be a very bad idea. People are suffering, their thoughts are distracted and so confused and lost in so many ways and people cannot go to sleep, people afraid to close their eyes, people don't know what to do with themselves, people afraid of the voice of their thoughts, they afraid to experience those emotions that are rising from within. But the fear mainly is a fear from the unknown. What that really need to be done is to take a decision. I want to deal with my fears. I rather to confront them once and for all than to run away from them for the rest of my life. And just to do it. So I suggest just really to close your eyes and to look deep into the roots of your own soul. To look deep into who that you are and not to be afraid of your emotions and your thoughts. For some of us it's going to be too hard even just to close our eyes like that. Maybe you need to take some kind of fabric, shirt, to cover your eyes with it. And just to try to look into the darkness and not to be scared from it, not to be afraid of what you're going to experience. Basically you're experiencing yourself. In that moment, you should talk to yourself like you talk to your best friend. You can ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? Mention your name and ask yourself, who am I? And then answer. What's the purpose of my life? And then answer. Let the answers come from within. And say whatever you think. Sometimes silly thoughts will rise. Sometimes the words that you will choose, the words that you will sense that are coming from inside won't be those ones that you plan to say. But ask yourself, why did I say that? Why did I thought that thought? Why that thought came to my mind and not a different one? And then continue. Ask yourself, what do I want to do with my life? And answer. Now ask yourself, why this is what that I want to do with my life? Why this is who that I want to be in my life? And then answer. And don't be afraid to keep on asking and answering. You're asking from your awareness and you're answering from the depths of your soul. So sometimes the answers that will come won't reflect the light of the inner spring, the illuminating connection of your soul to its endless root, to the divine root of your holiness that is the Creator. Because sometimes there are many things that are separating us from Him and we need to remove those obstacles. Sometimes we need to deal 
with certain things that are blocking our way to the root of our soul. And when you're going to ask yourself, who do I want to be or who am I, you can find yourself stuck with an answer that won't be the deepest and most pure answer. And it will not going to reflect the essence of your real soul. You can find yourself answer certain things that will be only coverings that are blocking you still from the real light of your soul. And this is why I said that after you ask yourself that question, who am I, and you found an answer, ask yourself on that answer another question. Why that is my answer? What is the truth about my journey? Who I really am? Why did I answer that answer? Why didn't say something better? And then answer. And deal with your answers with love, with compassion. Try to understand yourself. Try to give time to this kind of session. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And even if you don't see anything, try to keep your eyes closed and keep on talking to the roots of your soul, to the essence of your creation. Try to do it today and then try to do it again tomorrow. Close your eyes for 10 minutes, for 15 minutes session of meditation, of inner conversation and observation on the real purpose of your life. Finding your true self, connecting yourself to the light of your soul by a conversation trying to find out who you really are. Try to understand the real purpose of your being. Try to consult with the Creator and ask Him, Who am I? What do you really want for me? You're going to like the answers. You're going to find true happiness. Follow that advice. And you will be very happy and satisfied from the results. I promise you. May Hashem bless you with all good, complete happiness, holy wealth and health, and that you will understand how important your prayers are in the eyes of the Creator. Amen. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.